What's going on boys and welcome on in. In today's video, let's cover just all the shops in the game. In the last video, we covered the side story shop, the new updated side story shop. In today's video, let's cover Hoochie, the limited event merchant that comes around every now and then. We'll quickly talk about Garo because I need to mention a few things in there about shop refreshing if you're a new or returning player. After that, let's take a quick look at the Labyrinth Dungeon Merchant, who looks exactly like Hoochie Lore Masters. Is that the same person? He's called Vagrant Merchant, but they have the same exact model, same exact face. And then last but not least, we'll go look at Goblicus, the Goblin Merchant in 3-4, okay? So let's breeze through it, take notes, and uh, hopefully this helps you guys out. We'll be getting a lot of questions about this guy in particular, Hoochie. So, like I mentioned, he's a limited merchant, boys. Uh, he comes, you know, a few times every year. A lot of people call him a scammer for good reason, okay? I think a lot of the items in here are noob traps, meaning they're designed to take away your sky stones. Some of them can be fun. Some of them can be value. Let's go down one by one, okay? Starting from the top, we got a four to five star hero summon ticket. Guys, I'm just going to say straight up. This is, I think, one of the biggest noob traps you can find. Unlike the five star tickets we <clears throat> kind of got a lot of recently. A lot of times you'll just get burned and get a four star instead. Not only that, you might get a five star, but it... You know, chances are it's not one you need or really want. It's just not really great value instead. 12 inch sky stones is over 50 bookmarks and about a third more to the next 50 bookmark purchase. Um, you, it's just better to buy um, bookmarks or sh refresh the shop, which we'll talk about in a little bit. In my opinion, avoid this at all costs unless you're, it is a gotcha game. So if you have fun uh, testing your luck, go for it. But most of the time you will get burned. The odds are not in your favor. Molagora. Molagora is something almost most, I think everyone used to buy back when there was a Molagora drought. Now that Smilegate is giving us a lot and a lot more Molagora from Expeditions, from the Side Story Dungeon now, and then, you know, more in the web events, etc. There's a lot more Mola coming in, so if you are okay on Molagora, and you, or you just really want to save your Skystones instead, you don't need to pick this up anymore. Um, I personally will be avoiding it, because my Skystones, I don't even have enough for pity, guys. I gotta follow my own advice and start saving too. Um, but if it is your bottleneck, let's say you have a lot of characters, and you're just you're waiting every week to pick up the molas it's your last thing you need go ahead and get it molas are still pretty rare all things considered and 500 sky stones is a decent cost mystic metals this one we have to talk about okay we're going to talk about the garo uh sky stone shop refresh um in just a second but basically here's the rundown boys mystic metals are always good the price point here is not bad but the alternative way to get mystic metals is refreshing the shop like i mentioned in 200 sky stones on average you will hit 50 mystics so the, the price point is good, or about average. The price point seems normal. However, the bonus from buying it here is you don't have to spend the, I believe, like two to 300,000 gold per 50 Mystics if you were to buy in the shop. That's a lot of gold, boys, and it adds up, right? That's over a mil if you buy all four from the shop, for example, if you were to buy 200 Mystics. Now, the trade-off, though, guys, it's not a straight win because the trade-off instead, if you were going to take those 200 Sky Stones or however much you were going to spend, and on average, you know, you'll pick up 50 Mystics from the Garo shop, you also find Covenant bookmarks there as well. And guys, if you're confused, don't worry. Right after this, we'll go over the Garo shop and this will make more sense, the, secret, the, the shop refresh, okay? So just understand, one more to recap because this is a little tricky. This is a fine purchase. If you want Mystics anyways, you save gold, but you lose out on the chance of getting uh, Covenant bookmarks while you're refreshing. But the price points are all on point. They're all good. Um, random level 85 equipment guys just like the four to five star ticket if you want to risk it be my guess But you know how many bad gear there are in the game. It's all randomized Avoid in my opinion equipment version chefs uh, guys. This is kind of like the Molagora. There's we get a lot of it now look at this I have 49 here But if you are newer and you're struggling with gear being able to choose your set Especially like speed boots and speed main stat or like crit damage next is very valuable So if you're lacking these um, and gear is just holding you back I could see maybe picking up one or two it's not that bad of a purchase, but one more time, you get these a lot for free through the um, tr silver transmits from the expeditions. Uh, from, you can get some in the guild merchant. It's just, um, it's okay, but yeah, if you if you want to save, you'll get some of these for free anyways. Greater artifact charms. Artifact charms, guys, a lot of people neglect, but I can't really justify spending uh, 100 sky stones as a newer or mid game player. Those of you that are watching, I'm keeping you guys in mind. My end game players, if they have a lot of sky stones, these are always great because greater artifact charms, or excuse me, artifact charms in general are hard to come by. So these are not a bad pickup. I've bought some in the past. I'll be sk skipping them here, and I think most of y'all should skip too. You can get artifact charms in other ways, but um, this one, you know, sky stones are very valuable as well. We talked about this, and so as you can notice here, guys, those are the ones that are always set in the shop, and then down here, we have a lot of randomized items. Um, I can just tell you right now, the normal charms, the runes, the catalyst, I would avoid all of those. 
instead spend energy to farm them instead and speaking of energy it, unfortunately it's not showing here i was hoping they could show there's one item that i think most players should always buy especially if you see a discount so remember he's here till the ninth he'll have rotating shops and some of them will be uh, discounted if you ever see leafs in the shop period buy them especially if they're discounted too let me cover why you should buy leafs Almost everyone, no matter if you're a PvE or a PvP or a collector, you're going to need energy in the game just to do anything you want, pretty much, right? Outside of PvP. Uh, but for PvP, you'll need to farm up hunts to get gear, etc. Everyone wants energy, and if you were going to convert Skystones to energy, or, um, yeah, if you're going to convert Skystones to energy, which, you know, some people do, getting the Leafs is just a straight win. It's just a straight uh, premium cost upgrade, essentially. You save some Sky Stones, and if you convert that cost to energy, it's an overall net gain. So I think, especially if you see Leafs on discount, buy them. If you are farming a lot, and you see Leafs in period in the shop, it, just understand it's going to be a straight upgrade from spending Sky Stones for energy. And then, um, the only time I would say not buy it, if it's not discounted, and you have a lot of energy, you've been saving up, etc. You may not need to buy the Leafs. But that, would, I think, is the most valuable thing, followed by the Mystics, and then everything after that. The Mola, maybe. A lot of this he's called a scammer for a reason yeah you can kind of safely avoid him for most for the most part okay all right i talked about gar let's go over this real fast guys most of y'all should know this feature but if you didn't instead of buying the the 950 sky stone 50 bookmark pack that comes with a little bit of stigma i believe you can instead refresh this shop which this will net you the most amount of bookmarks per sky stone spent okay on top of that like I mentioned from the, the Hoochie shop, you will get Mystics as well. As you can see, I just got some Covenant bookmarks. That's what I was talking about when you refresh. Um, it's just something, guys, that if you need a lot of bookmarks, you should be doing. But you will drain your gold very, very fast. Okay, so hopefully you have some gold saved up. If you don't have gold, which I know a lot of y'all won't, um, if you've already spent it from crafting or whatever else, then go ahead and just buy either the Mystics from the Hoochie shop or, you know, buy the 950 bookmark or skystone pack for 50 bookmarks all right but if you do have the gold you have the skystones take some time it is a little bit annoying it's gonna if, especially if you have a lot to spend boys trust me but this is the best way to get mystics and covenants per skystone spent you just have to have that gold kicker you have to spend some gold as well all right that's the secret shop if you ever hear people talking about refreshing all right quickly guys since i cover this in almost every new player guide or uh you know daily routine guide there is a merchant and i like to do um what is this Hall of Silence, I just go to the top right. He's almost found in any floor. Just look it up or copy what I'm doing here. Um, we have to do one quick fight here, and then we'll I'll show you guys the shop. After that, we'll check out Goblicus, okay? Now, this shop here, there's something to take note of. Unlike the scam artist behind the bar, this guy is very good, and every single one of you should get in the habit of checking it every single day. Like I mentioned, he looks the same, but he's called Vagrant Merchant. Um... Any charm you see in here, boys, you buy up, okay? This also has a chance to buy covenants, buy it as well. Pretty much, I buy everything that's not a artifact or bookmark. The catalysts that show up in here, too, if you need them, um, I believe they are discounted as well. And by discounted, I'll tell you what I mean by that, because we're going to go to another merchant here that the prices are much, much more expensive. So any artifact charm, any charm period for equipment, any bookmarks, buy them up, okay? This is very good. You have a chance to finding epic charms. It's actually not even that uncommon. Uh, I know some of you watching right now have seen it. Buy them up. This is very good. Just get in the habit of checking him every single day. And remember, you need a Labyrinth token to enter, but you can yield out and it won't take a Labyrinth key. All right, guys. Last but not least, in full transparency, I do not check this guy anymore. So that should tell you something on his value. But I could see some of you that really, really need charms. Uh, you may want to check this guy out. So if you didn't, if you weren't aware, in 3-4, Key Ruberon, you just go in real fast. I'll show you where to find him. Um, there is a merchant that if we were talking about scam artists, scammers in, in general, this would this guy would be the king of it. Okay, so you just go bottom left, you take your first left at the fork, and then he's also called Vagrant Merchant here, Goblicus. So, guys, as you can see, there's a lot of charms here, and actually, boys, those of you that check him every day, can you can you confirm or not confirm for me if you have ever seen bookmarks in here? My chat is telling me that there's been he can drop covenant bookmarks. But I have never seen it, and I used to check him every single day. Let me know if you've ever found otherwise. But as you can see here, guys, these, obviously, they're just a gimmick. Um, these are Abyss gear. Um, he, most people will never buy this, although I have a review coming up of someone that did buy one of these. Can y'all believe that? But the, the charms you see here are more expensive. So if there was a lesser weapon charm in the Labyrinth shop, the Vagrant Merchant, the Little Hoochie guy in the Labyrinth, 
it would cost less than what Goblicus is charging here. This is why I don't buy them anymore, but with 161 million gold, if you have a lot of gold in general, charms are often the bottleneck, right guys? Y'all know this. It's hard to get charms in general. I would go ahead and buy them if you have a lot of gold. Otherwise, try to get your charms instead first from the Labyrinth Shop. But um, like I mentioned, I don't really check him anymore, partially due to laziness, partially because the, the value is not as good compared to the other merchants. But charms are still very rare, so it's important to know. Maybe check him out if you are swimming in gold from hunt events, etc. All right, guys, hopefully that helped out. Let me know um, if you have any additional questions in the comments below, of course. Thank you so much for watching. Hey, look, it's Gucci, and I'll catch you guys in the next one, okay? Arena guy coming soon. More account reviews coming soon. Peace out, y'all. Have a good rest of your day.